Giving charity is the quickest, simplest way to have an impact on the world. But it's not always easy. After all, you worked hard for that quarter. Shouldn't you get to keep it? Well, I have some great news for you. You don't have to give away any of your money. At least not the way Judaism thinks about it. Let me explain. When you look around, it seems like some people have it all, and others have zilch. Why did God set up the world this way? In a word, tzedakah. Most people think tzedakah is the Hebrew word for charity, but there's a big difference. In fact, the more literal translation of tzedakah is just or right. Charity implies, this coin is really mine, but I'll be nice anyway and let you have it. Tzedakah says, this coin, like everything else in the world, was created by God to serve a higher purpose. For some reason, God chose me as the messenger to bring you what you need. Seen that way, it was never yours or mine in the first place. But it's not just a one-way street. The sages of the Talmud taught that more than the rich person helps the poor, the poor person helps the rich. That's because the giver needs a receiver in order to fulfill his mission. Together, they become partners in an act of cosmic justice. That's worth a lot more than the nickel we started with. There's more than one way to give, but it's important to do it with a smile and with sensitivity. Even better, do it anonymously so nobody feels embarrassed. Best of all, empower them to stand on their own two feet. Now here's an interesting question. Is it better to give, say, $365 once a year or $1 every day? You're probably thinking, what's the difference? But there's a big one. The act of giving can be a transformative experience. It shifts the paradigm of how we think the world operates and refocuses our mind towards the Almighty. Making it a part of our daily routine drills this into us until it becomes a part of our nature and changes who we are. There's something powerful about tzedakah. It can transform our lives, turning the daily grind into something imbued with holy kindness and giving. The mystics teach that giving hard-earned money uplifts and sanctifies all the energy and toil spent to earn it. That's why the Rebbe suggested that everyone should have a tzedakah box, or a pushka in Yiddish, as a convenient way to make physical giving a part of our daily routine. Many Jewish homes and businesses have tzedakah boxes all over the place. Even kids should have personalized pushkas in their bedrooms. Believe it or not, I have one in my car. When you get that special urge to give a little extra, it's good to know there's a tzedakah box nearby. The Rebbe also said it's a good idea to mount one to a wall in your house. That way, the very structure of our homes becomes a vessel for giving. Meetings, especially business meetings, should start with people giving. He even suggested that employers include some extra money when paying their employees, so that they can use it to support the charitable causes of their choice. Oh, this is important. We don't handle money on Shabbat or Yom Tov, so make sure to give extra tzedakah beforehand. Women add tzedakah right before they light the candles. If someone in your family needs help, they take priority. Next, the poor in your city, and so on. There's something special about supporting poor people and Torah scholars in the Holy Land. In fact, a special fund established by Rabbi Schneer Zalman of Liadi in 1788 is the oldest continually operating charity and the largest social services organization in Israel today. This cause was so important that even with the poverty experienced by diaspora Jews, support for our brothers and sisters in Israel was always emphasized as well. We're all blessed differently, and some can give more than others, but on top of helping the needy whenever we can, our tradition teaches us to give 10% of our earnings. If you want to go above and beyond, give 20% to worthy causes. That might seem like a lot of money, but tzedakah is not a zero-sum game. Not even close. Our sages teach that whatever we give, God will repay us much, much more. Go ahead, give it a try. <laughs>